Now, your weather authority forecast from meteorologist Hannah Gard. We've been tracking a couple of showers out there throughout the day. We saw some pockets of heavier rainfall. We're still seeing some heavy downpours in places on the north shore there in St. Tammany, moving up into Mississippi right there along the border. So we might see some heavier rain in Bogalusa here shortly, but all of this is continuing to push towards the north. Once that does make its way out of the area, we're in the clear down to the south. So we should get a little break there. Some parts of southern Mississippi still seeing some rainfall. Gulfport, we'll see some showers there in a second. But down to the southwest, where we're now seeing some peaks of sunshine instead of those showers, we're in the mid-70s, even seeing some high 70s in the river parishes, where we're getting those very strong southerly winds, where those winds are still kind of coming from the east with that shower activity. We're in the 60s on the north shore in southern Mississippi. Now, most of the region and really feeling warm temperatures compared to, to the northwest. Just north of Dallas, we're starting to see a cold front sinking towards the south. So temperatures in the mid-50s there, and we're seeing those dropping currently. We're in the 40s in Oklahoma City, even seeing some wintry mix out there. But this low pressure system is where we're starting to see all of that shower activity popping up. Now you can see where there's a lot of moisture in the region. We're getting some showers across East Texas. We're getting those showers in our area as well as we're seeing a little bit of a warm front pulling up towards the north. And that's going to continue throughout the rest of this evening. We'll see that front continuing to pull up. That's going to allow temperatures tomorrow to really get warm. We'll see southerly winds strong throughout the day. This is 8 p.m. So through much of the day tomorrow, maybe we see a hit and miss shower early on. But it's just going to be very warm and cloudy and muggy around 8 to 9 is when we'll start to see this line of storms moving into the area. And then we'll see that more towards the metro around 10 to 11 towards midnight. And then just around midnight, that will make its way through southern Mississippi and off the coast there and will clear out from that storm threat. We might have some lingering showers Thursday as that cold front sort of stations itself just to the southeast. So we'll see that cloud cover remaining, some moisture through Thursday, and then Friday we will finally start to dry out there. But we could see some severe weather with that line of storms. At least we'll see some strong storms. Some of those could become severe. We're mostly worried about damaging wind gusts as that line moves through. Heavy flooding rainfall with those heavier downpours and stronger storms. And we could see a few tornadoes. We can't rule out that threat embedded in that line. We'll have to watch for some spin-ups. So we are outlining the North Shore and just south of the lake in that slight level two risk for severe weather. That's where we could see those storms most likely become severe. Down along the coast, not as high, but still included in that marginal risk. So that means all of those severe weather threats are possible in the area as that moves through late tomorrow night. So rain tomorrow, just trace amounts throughout the day. And then as that line moves through, we could see some pretty heavy downpours in some places. One to three inches of rainfall certainly could lead to flooding. So make sure you have ways to receive those weather alerts as we go into the evening tomorrow. That will be a nighttime threat, so we want to make sure everyone is aware. Today, we're starting to see that sun coming out for many of us. We have still some cloud cover. It's very humid, but we're going to continue to climb with those temperatures into the high 70s tonight, back down into those mid-60s. And tomorrow, we might even reach our record high temperature, 81, set in 2019. We're forecasting 80 degrees, so we could get pretty close to that record high. We have high pressure over us right now. That's where that clockwise spin is going around, mostly dry weather. But we're starting to get into that southwest flow aloft. That's where we see that convection initiating. So that's why we're seeing some shower activity out there. But here comes that low pressure system. That's what's going to bring us those storms tomorrow night. So that's going to pull off to the east. And then we'll actually see one coming in behind that into this weekend. So that's what's going to bring us some chilly weather in time for our parades. Now the good news, Liz, we're going to see that sun come out by the time we see those cooler temperatures. So even though it will be chilly, especially in the mornings, look at 28 on the North Shore Sunday morning, we'll see that sunshine just in time for our parades this weekend. Back to you. Okay. Thanks a lot.